so blessed to have freedom in this country to worship the Lord. Amen? Praise God. We've been... Um, we started four weeks ago. This is the... Four weeks ago, this is the fifth week on a series preparing us for the soon coming king. All of the signs are already here, my friends. All of the signs are already here. And um, the question is this What could have you been doing when Jesus comes? Ano kaya ginagawa mo pagdating ni Jesus? Sabi mo nga sa katabi mo, ano kaya ang ginagawa mo pagdating ni Jesus? What could you have you been doing when Jesus Christ comes? Will you be confident or unashamed before Him in His coming? Nahihiya ka ba? Nakakahiya ba ginagawa nyo? Ginagawa natin when He comes. Now how can we be excited and unashamed when Jesus comes. Paano ba tayo magiging excited when Jesus comes? How? What do we do? And this is the series that we've been talking about. The title of the series is Make His Heart Our Heart and Walk Like Jesus Walk. Make His Heart Our Heart. Make His Heart Beat Our Heart Beat and Walk Like Jesus Walked. The Apostle John shared this in his first letter, chapter 2, verse 6. He says, Whoever claims to live as a Christian must live as Jesus did. So not, not because you are a Christian, that means you are a Christian by heart. If you say that you are a Christian, you should live like Jesus lived. Amen? Remember this, that we are God's handiwork. In Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10, For we are God's handiwork. We are God's workmanship, created in Jesus for good works. Created in Jesus. That means Jesus is our model. Amen? Jesus is our model. When God created us, He says, Let us make man in our image and in our likeness. We were, we were, we were created as holy people. Holy people. But because of what Adam did, he disobeyed God. We did not inherit his sin, but we inherited a dead spirit. That is why even though you go to church, nothing happens. You still are an adulterer. You still live an adulterous life. You still die. You know. You still cuss. Why? Because your spirit is dead. God cannot penetrate. God with spirit cannot penetrate and speak to you because your spirit is dead. But God loves us so much. First, He spoke to the prophets. But now, He gave His only begotten Son to us. So that when we receive Him, our spirits shall be born again. So born again is not a religion. Amen? Born again is when your spirit will be will be birthed once again and this is where church family comes because your baby you have to be nurtured and nourished that's why tell your seatmate i love you my friend i love you as a brother or i love you as a sister amen i love you as a brother i love you as a sister in philippians chapter 2 Verse 12 to 16, he says there, Therefore, my dear friends, as you have always obeyed, not only in my presence, this is the Apostle Paul speaking to the Christians in Philippi. He says here, continue to work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Not work for, but to work out. Because our salvation is given to us as a gift. It is a grace given to us by God. It's a free gift. But you need to work out. Amen? It's just like you have your body. But you have to work out that you will be healthy. Amen? Amen? I started my gym a couple of weeks back. Satanaba. <laughs> but I will continue to do this. Because I want to live the longest possible time. So that I can share the gospel of the Lord. Now let's continue. For it is God who works in you to will and to act in order to fulfill His good purpose. If you are looking for God's purpose, there it is. God's purpose is for us to live like Christ. And to, to live like Christ is to be His disciple. And to be His disciple is to touch, to reach out and touch people's lives. To save 
others. Amen? Sabi mo nga sa, kat- sa katabi mo, halata na ba na Christian ka? Or secret agent ka pa rin? Hindi halatang Christiano. Right? And then he further says, do everything without grumbling or arguing so that you may become blameless and pure. The, the song that we, we, we the prayer, the song that, the prayer that we sang, no? creating us a pure heart. Children of God, without fault in, war, in, this, in a warped and crooked generation, then you will shine among them like stars in the sky as you hold firmly to the word of life. Work out your salvation, God says. Be blameless. Live a holy life. Holy life is, if you, if you love God, holy life is the simplest way to live. The best way to live, to live a holy life. Holy, being holy is not sinless perfection. Being holy is to always acknowledge that you have sinned. Confess it and repent from it. And if you do this in increasing measure, later on in your life, you will find out that you already are living a holy life worthy of God's praise. Amen? Praise God. We are living in a fallen world, sabi nga ni Apostle Pablo. We are living in a fallen world, and we were once inhabitants of this fallen world. As Christians, as disciples, we were once an inhabitant of this fallen world. Though we no longer are of the world, we are still in this world. Amen? And as disciples of, of Jesus Christ, we all need to understand this. Hindi na tayo tagamundo. Sabi mo nga sa katabi mo, alien ka na dito. <laughs> alien ka na dito. Right? How many of you here, when you started to change, people started to ridicule you? Right? Oh, born again, burn again ka eh. Oh, alive, alive ka dyan, ha? Yeah, when I started to walk, to walk, to walk uh, in God's ways during my olden times, many years ago, you know, <laughs> sabi sa akin ng mga kasama ko sa opisina because they know me sabi niya born again ka mililigawan ka no <laughs> so my friends we are no longer of this world we are still in it but we are aliens sabi ni Apostol Pablo 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 13 to 17 therefore with minds that are alert and fully sober set your hope in the grace on the grace to be bought, brought to you when Jesus Christ is revealed at His coming. He is coming. Amen. He is coming. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, are you excited? Are you excited that He's coming? I mean, he is coming. Sabi nila, no, mer- sabi nila, meron daw, may, may delta na ngayon, may lambda na. No? Pero sabi mo nga sa katabi mo, meron naman tayong alpha and the omega. Amen. Palakpakan natin ng ating Panginoon. Yeah, we need not fear this. No? We need not fear death. We, not, we did not fear death even if you are a disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Death means you are with Christ. You will be with Him. But to live here is to be living in this fallen world. And He says, As obedient children, do not conform to the evil desires you had when you lived in ignorance. But just as He who called you is holy, so be holy in all you do. For it is written, be holy, because I am holy. And this is not a request. This is a command. Amen? Remember what Jesus Christ said in John chapter 14? If you love me, you will obey my command. Those who will not obey my command are those who do not love me. And if you obey my command, my Father will love you. I and the Father will live in you. And the Holy Spirit we guide you. Imagine that. That is the reason why it greater is He who is in us than He who is in the world. Be holy because I am holy. Since you call on a Father who judges each person's work impartially, live out your time. Sabi ko na sa foreigner ka. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, you are an alien. We're an alien in this world. Live out your time as foreigners here in fervent fear. God loves us so much that he snatched us out of the hand of the devil who has who is now who has in control who has taken control over the world he is controlling the world and because of this because of this god snatched us out of his hands now because of this 
Satan has commanded his minions. Uh, may minions sila, no? His evil, his evil, the dev, the e his evil minions to work over time so he may steal us back to him. He's working noble time. Sabi mo yung katabi mo, baka minion yan. <laughs> Be careful of your friends. No? Baka minion yan ni Taning. <laughs> right? Be careful. Choose your friends. Right? Sabi, remember this. Jesus Christ himself said these words in John 10.10. 10. Pakinggan nyo maigi po ito. John chapter 10 verse 10. The thief comes except to steal and to kill. The thief does not come except to steal and kill and to destroy. But he said, I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. Today's message will focus on making us aware that the devil is at work even this very time. Today's message is entitled, Temptation. The devil tried, but he failed. Amen? Are you excited to hear the message today? Come on, let's, me get, let's hear a clap offering for that. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me walk you through. Let, let's walk with Jesus and watch this scene during the early days of his ministry. Remember this. You know, Jesus Christ started his ministry at the age of 30. He started his ministry at the age of 30. He was a carpenter. Amen. He was a carpenter. And nobody knew except his mom. Even his brothers, probably his brother, his brothers, you know, uh, his uh, his brothers and sisters were the one who um, doesn't believe in him. But his mom knows because Mama Mary gave birth while he was still she was still a virgin. She she knows, no, Mama Mary and who, the father. Joseph, right? So, what happened was that Jesus Christ was baptized. He went to the, the, the Jordan River, spoke to John the Baptist, and said to John the Baptist, baptize me. And John the Baptist said, why me? You should baptize me. I'm not even worthy to tie your, your, your sandals. And Jesus Christ said, "You have this has to happen so that all righteousness shall be fulfilled. And baptism is when you, it's called baptizo, no? You know, lulubog ka sa tubig, no? You will be, um tawag dyan? Immersed in water. Kaya pag matagal ang malaking kasalanan mo, mga five minutes ka dyan. <laughs> you, immersed, you, know, you know what that meant? You know, Jesus Christ is telling us, Telling, telling uh, 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 the, the, John the Baptist, Hey, I will die and I will rise again. Amen? He said, I will die and then I will rise again. John never understood that message. But now we know. Amen? And then what happened next? Wow, the Holy Spirit came like a dove. Right? And the heavens opened, and they heard the voice of God. He is my son, whom I am well pleased. Amen? Those who do not understand this, there is the scene where the Trinity, where you can see the Trinity, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and our God, the Father. Amen? And then what happened next is this. By the way, baptism is not we seek. Baptism is when you already know what you are doing. Amen? What you are doing. Babies are dedicated. Amen? But us, who knows, who have heard about, about the Bible, about Jesus Christ, and have decided to walk like Jesus walked, we are now being baptized. And what happened next is this. The Holy Spirit brought Jesus Christ into the desert. And there He fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. Just when he was so physically weak, the enemy attacked. Satan himself attacked. Amen? By the way, Satan is not... Is not when did Satan discover that Jesus is the Messiah? He never knew that Jesus was the, the Messiah for 30 years. Right? He only knew that Jesus is the Messiah when he was baptized. Oh, ito pala yun. 
Ito palang karpintero na to. Siya pala yon. At hindi na siya tinantana ni Jesus, uh, Satan never stopped. He never stopped uh, tempting him, pulling him down. Now let's walk to that scene when Jesus Christ was so hungry. 40 days, after 40 days and 40 nights. Luke chapter 4, verse 1 to 13. Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit, left the Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. Where for 40 days he was tempted by the devil. He ate nothing during those days, and at the end of them, he was hungry. 40 days ba naman, ano? The devil said to him, If you are the Son of God, tell this stone to become bread. And Jesus answered, It is, not, it is written, Man shall not live on bread alone. The devil led him up to a high place and showed him in an, in, an, in an instant all the kingdoms of the world. And he said to him, I will give you all the authority and splendor. It has been given to me and I can give it to anyone I want. If you worship me, it will all be yours. <laughs> Jesus answered, it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve Him only. The devil led him to Jerusalem and had him stand to the highest po point of the temple. And he says, If you are the Son of God, he said, Throw yourself down from here, for it is written, He will command His angels concerning you to guard you carefully. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. Alam mo yan. <laughs> then Jesus answered it is said do not put the Lord your God to the tests when the devil has finished all this tempting he left him until an opportune time wow grabe you know there is a similar story in the Old Testament in the Old Testament, you see, Satan's technique never changes. His technique, his weapon never changes. Walk me now at the, in the Garden of Eden. Garden of Eden. Jesus Christ created Eden. And then created man. When he created man, he was created in his image and likeness. He gave him flesh. He gave him soul. The personality of man is holy. Okay? The soul. That's the personality. Our soul now depends upon our culture, our religion, our environment, our family, right? Now, the soul. And then, he breathed in his nostril life. And what did God breathe into Adam? It was his spirit. That's why... Adam now has flesh, has soul, and it has spirit. At sabi pa nga ni Adam eh, and ni God eh, it's not good for man to be alone. So kumuha siya ng ribs naging, kaya pastor iyan, sabi mo kay Milen, ribs kita. <laughs> Hindi loves kita, no? Ribs kita. <laughs> so, what happened then is that they lived. Sabi, sabi, ni Jesus, sabi ni God, Okay, this is all yours, but do not partake of that tree. Dalawa yun, tree of life and tree of knowledge of what is good and evil. Ha, nagtanong na naman, may nagtanong sa aking wise person, and I, and, I, and I accepted that question. Totoo naman eh. Pastor, if God is so all-knowing, why did He put a temptation there? Sana wala na lang, sana holy na lang tayo ngayon. Right? You know why? Because we were created in His image, in His likeness. And God has freedom to choose. He has sovereign will. So He has to give it to Adam, right? And how will He exercise that, practice that without a temptation? Make sense? And then He says, if you partake of this, this, this fruit, you will die. So, hindi nila kinakain yun. But eto now, here comes Satan. Sabi mo nga sa katabi mo, hindi mo friend si Satan. 
Hindi mo friends si Satan. You know, Satan will give you so many good things. Eh? But that is to pull you down. Para kang binebait, no? Binebait. Listen, walk with me now in Genesis chapter 3, verse 1 to 6. Now, the serpent was more crafty than any of the wild animals the Lord had God, God had made. He said to the woman, Did God really say, You must not eat from any tree in the garden? And the woman said to the serpent, We may eat from the trees in the garden. But God did say, you must not eat from the tree that is in the middle of the garden. And you must not touch it or you will die. You see, kapag innocent, if you're innocent of the word of God, no, you will compromise it. You see, it was what, 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 uh, what, Eve, what Eve said was not exact, right? God said, do not eat. Dinagdagan niya, do not touch. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, huwag kang magdagdag sa salita ng Diyos. Amen? That is, the, that is the reason why there's so many religions now. Right? There's so many religions now. They want to, uh, to, want, they want to uh, understand God's heart by their own understanding, not God's mind. Tuloy natin. Or you will die. Or you will die. Sabi niya ganyan. <laughs> Ang hirap niya. You, you, you will not certainly die, the serpent said to the woman. For God knows that when you eat from your, eat, eat, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God, knowing and evil. Para na si ano to, no? <laughs> Lord of the Rings. <laughs> When the woman saw the fruit of the tree was good for, for food and pleasing to the eye and also desirable for gaining wisdom, she took some and ate it. She also gave some to her husband who was with her and he ate it. Then the eyes of both of them were opened and they realized they were naked. So they sewed fig trees together and made coverings for themselves. You know what happened? They were disconnected. They did not die physically. What died was the spirit that God gave them. And because of that, nakat ang kanilang internet. Yeah, because the next, the next scene is that God was walking in the garden looking for them. Looking, looking. When looking, looking, no looking. When looking, looking. When no looking, 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 looking. Sabi nung... Gusto ko talaga yan. Kahit ano, tinatawanan yan eh. <laughs> and he was looking you know why he never did that before kasi connected ang internet nila but now naku sabi ni God you ate of it right ayan and now we know what happened next amen they were separated from God they were independent from God and the soul that remained they took up the partook of the knowledge of what is good and evil they just you know, uh, the enemy, Satan, took advantage of him and taught Adam and Eve so many lies. Amen? So why did I share these two, uh, these two um, uh, stories? First one in Genesis is the fall of man. Amen? And the next is the restoration of man to God. Man failed when Satan tempted them. But with Jesus, anong sabi niya? He failed. Amen? He failed. And he said that he uh, went away to find for an opportune time, but he never did. Amen? He never did found a time, uh, a, a time, uh, exact time for, 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 for uh, Jesus to be tempted. He failed. That's why, that's why he spoke to other people to stop God's plan of our redemption. He spoke to the Pharisees. He spoke to the teachers of the law. What killed Jesus Christ? Who killed Jesus Christ? It was not the Romans. It was the law, not the Roman law. What killed Jesus Christ? Religion killed him. Amen? Remember, pag Wednesday, palaspas, right? 
Hallelujah! No? No? Hosanna in the highest! Right? They were, they were shouting, Hosanna in the highest! Jesus Christ was riding on a colt, right? Sabi ni Jesus Christ siguro. But after a few days, those people who were shouting Hosanna were the very people who were shouting, Crucify Him! Crucify Him! You know why? The Pharisees and the Sadducees and the teachers of the law intervened. So lies to the people. And he says, this Jesus is blaspheming. And so, he was crucified. Now, what are the learnings from these events? The devil's tactics do not change. John chapter 2, 1 John chapter 2, verse, 2, verse 16. Learn from this. John chapter, 1 John chapter 2, verse, verse 16. For everything in the world, everything in the world, Sabi mo sa katabi mo, alien ka na, ha? Everything in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life comes not from the Father, but from the world. This is the tactic of Satan. Lust of the eyes, lust of the flesh, pride of life. He used these tactics with Eve. Look at this. Ang ganda. Amuyin mo. Masarap. Last of the eyes, maganda. Amuyin. Di ba? Masarap. But sabi ni Eve, no? Kahit kawakan ko yan, bawal. Pero anong sabi ni Satan? Di, pag kinain mo yan, if you partake of this, you will be wise as him. You will be like God. Pride of life. Do you see now? Okay, do you see? The pride of life. Galatians chapter, now, now this can be further exemplified by our sinful nature. Alam po yung sinful nature encompasses all of this. Last of the eyes, last of the flesh, last of the flesh, last of the eyes, last of the flesh, and pride of life. Galatians 5, 19 to 21. The acts of the flesh are obvious. Sexual immorality. Impurity and debauchery, idolatry and witchcraft, hatred, discord, jealousy, fits of rage, selfish ambition, dissension, factions, and envy, drunkenness, orgies, and the like. I warn you, as I did before, that those who live like this will not inherit the kingdom of God. Those who live like this will not inherit the kingdom of God. But if you receive Jesus Christ in your heart and your spirit is birthed in you, then you will have, the proof is that you will have the fruit of the Holy Spirit. The fruit of the Holy Spirit is totally different from your flesh. This is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Don't tell me, Pastor, okay sa akin yung six, pero yung isa hindi. Laglag lahat yan. Amen? That, that's why in the Bible it said, fruit, not fruits. Always bind your, your heart with love because love is the one who will take care of all of the fruit of the Spirit. Amen? And the last one, the anchor, is self-control. Love and self-control. Love and self-control. Sabi mo sa katabi mo nga, love and self-control. Always remember this, without love, there's no joy. Without joy, there's no peace. Without peace, there's no... And so forth and so on. Love is the foundation. Gen uh, Self-control is the anchor. Always bear this in mind. Now, how did Jesus deal with temptation? Remember, this series deals with how Jesus reacts, how Jesus responds, right? How Jesus walks. Now, how did, how did uh, Jesus dealt with temptation? With this temptation... Um, when he was tempted, I'm going to use the ac acrostic. Pahirapan niyo ako, tempted lang. Letter T of tempted. Truth was his weapon. Truth was his weapon. He knows the true context of Scripture. Always remember, yeah, see, did you, did you know, take notice? Satan used the Word of God to tempt Jesus. 
Right? But he took it in another context. Meron kanyang pang sarili. He has a selfish purpose. I mean, watch out for many will call themselves the Christs. Watch out in these last days. There will be many false teachers and false prophets. Amen? They will use the word of God for their own benefit. But Jesus Christ knew scripture into its truest of context, purest of context. Truth was his weapon. Amen? So you need to read the Bible. You need to read the Bible. And always remember this. Reading the Bible is to change you, not to change God's mind. Hello? It is not to force God's mind to change. You see, Lord, Lord, magki-Christmas na naman. Naririnig ko na naman si, si Jose Marachan. Pero wala pa rin akong biyanan, Lord. 40 na ako. Buti pa si Pacquiao lumalaban ng 43. Ako ka kaya, kaya ko pa kayang lumaban. Lord, may nanliligaw sa akin. No? Dati ang prayer mo, Lord, dapat Lord, pinagpe-pray ko, the best man for me. He has to, dapat may trabaho. Dapat uh, Christian. Dapat faithful sa Panginoon. Kung po pwede po, tall, dark, and handsome. Wa? Grabe ah. Eh, sabi mo, Lord, kasi delight in you. Eh. I will give you the size of your heart. Pero 40, 40 na siya. Alam nyo, habang tumatagal, nababawasan ng criteria. Hanggang finally, Lord, merong nanliligaw sa akin, Lord, siya na ba? Siya na ba, Lord? Kasi po, siya ay tall, dark. Yun na lang. Tall and dark na lang. At nagbasa ng Bible. Nabasa niya. What you have to do, do it fast. Aba? May go signal na si Lord. What you have to do? Sasagutin mo na. Kapatid, if you do not know the context of that word, it was Judas. It, Jesus Christ was talking to Judas. Sabi ni Jesus Christ kay Judas, Sige na! Gawin mo na, dapat mong gawin. And what is that? Betrayed Jesus Christ. Amen? So you have to lead. Be part of a life group. All for Christ Church International. We are so active. Our, co- our, our core, uh, our, our, the center of our, the center of our, uh, uh, our, our, um, our, the nucleus of the mitochondria that reacts and responds. <laughs> the cell of our, the, 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 the nucleus of our church family is the life group. Amen? It's the life group. Be part of a life group. And when you are a part of a life group, be 100% be a part of it. Because the life group will lead you towards spiritual maturity. You will talk about God and how God, uh, the Word of God has impacted your life. And towards spiritual and emotional maturity. Bakit emotional maturity? Kasi nag away din sa loob. Right? In the life group, no? Meron din mga tampuhan, no? Right? Di man ako inimbita, birthday ko. <laughs> Di man lang ako kinta na happy birthday to you. Wala man lang akong cake. You see? So, be part of a life group, my friends. I encourage you, be part of a life group. Because in the life group, you will not have only a Bible study, but you will also have the, 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 the Bible um, uh, how to use, you will, you will also talk about how to use the Word of God in your life. And not only that, because remember the, the greatest commandment, love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and mind, that is feeding the Bible. Right? And love others as you love yourself. It is fellowship. Right? Sabi mo sa katabi mo, love kita kahit ganyang ka. Ganon. Love kita kahit ganyang ka. I love you, even though you're like that. Katang mo English ko. <laughs> Letter E of temptation. Anong ginawa ni Jesus? How did Jesus Christ fight temptation? Emotions were not his basis for his reaction. 
See, the devil taunted him, but he did not fall to his tactics. Amen? Taunted him. Ah, kala ko ba? Kala ko ba anak ka? Kung ikaw ay anak. Di ba? Hindi siya pinatulan. Sa so, mga sa katabi mo, ang mapikon talo. No? Mapikon talo. So he, he did, he, yung lahat na kanya, remember, hindi emotion ang ginagamit ni Jesus Christ to fight temptation. Amen? Letter M of tempted, he maintained his sonship. He maintained his sonship. Ang sabi ni Satan, kung ikaw ay anak, kung ikaw ay anak, siguro sabi niya, ako nga ang anak. Hindi mababago yan. He need not prove to, dev, to, to the devil his sonship. And by the way, if you receive Jesus Christ in your life, the Bible says in, in, in John chapter 1, you will have the privilege to be a child, to be called a child of God. Amen? Sabi mo sa katabi mo, you are a child of God. At kapag anak ka ng Diyos, waba, you are protected by God. God will take care of you. Like, remember Matthew 6.33? Seek you first the kingdom of God and His righteousness and everything shall be added unto you. What is the context of this? It's trusting God with all of your needs, right? Like halimbawa, si, si brother dito at si sister, you know, you may anak kayo, you take good care of your children, right? Hindi po ba? You take, sabi nga, nagkaka, nag, nagka, siguro si Pastor Benjo, no? Ano ba? Uh, o kaya si, o sino? Halimbawa, si brother, kahit ako siguro, no? Nagkasakit yung anak ko. Ang dalangin ko, Lord, ako na lang, wag na siya. Amen? Kanun ang ginawa ni Jesus Christ sa atin. Lord, ako na lang ang parusahan mo, wag na siya. Right? You are a child of God. At kung ikaw ay anak ng Diyos, mas powerful ka sa kahit na apo, anong posisyon dito sa, abu, sa, sa mundo. Amen? Kahit na anong posisyon dito sa buong mundo, if you are a child of God. Letter P of tempted. Pride of life has no place in his heart. Pride of life was not, has no place in his heart. I will give you this, I will give you this kingdom. I will give you this kingdom. Sabi niya, anong, uh, hindi man kumibo si Jesus Christ eh. Pa, alam niyo, bibigay mo hindi sa'yo, akin yan. Bibigay, parang binibenta ko sa'yo ang EDSA. Hindi naman sa'yo yun. Bibigay niya yung kingdom, hindi naman kanya yun. And Jesus Christ knows that, right? So, yung pride of life, wala. Wala, siya, wala na siya noon. He was always, he was always heavenly focused. Pride of life. In fact, the king of heaven came down, came down here not to be served, but to serve. Anong pride yan? Yung paana ang dumi-dumi? Luhugasan? You know, during those times, wala pong Adidas. Wala po nung Nike. Walang Converse. China ba yan? No? Ano? Walang Converse. No? Paano? Tapos, you know, putik-putik nun. I also experienced that in Africa, in Kenya, when I was there. Pastors there, I was talking about say, about service. To be, uh, I was talking about to serve, not to be served. Alam niyo mga 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 Kenyan, ano yan eh, mga mga lalo na mapag pastor ka, hap taas taas ng tingin sa iyo. You know what I did? I washed their feet. Ang sabi ko, Lord Jesus, buti ka pa nakasandalya sila. Ito, nakasapatos, tatlong araw na hindi pinapalitan ng medyas. <laughs> ganun po talaga yun. Totoo po yun. Tapos sa hawa, mayroon pag tinanggal mong ganun, medyo malagkit-lagkit pa. Oh. Tapos sa haba, hindi naman ganun-ganun, tapos talaga. And you know what? Those hard men and women, uh, African men, hindi mo mapapaiyak yan. There, they cried. There was even one man there who cried like a baby. He was, he was touched by God. They finally, they found out, they, they realized that we are not here to be served. 
but to serve as Jesus did. Amen. And then, letter T of tempted, treat the devil as an adversary, not a friend. When, Jesus, when Satan came to Jesus Christ, kala mo, close sila, no? Kala mo, kaibigan sila. You know, oh, gutom ka na, oh. Bre, gawin mo to. Alam mo, kayang-kaya mo yan. Gawin mo tong bato. Bato na gawin mong, gawin mong uh, uh, burger. You know? Pwede mong gawin tinapa ito. Kala mo, friend. You see? Treat the devil, if you want to fight temptation, treat the devil as an adversary, not a friend. He has a sharp discernment on the devil's plan. All around us, Satan will continue to kill, steal, and destroy, snatch you from the hands of God. Be wise. Be innocent of what is good. Of evil. Be innocent of what is evil. Be excellent of what is good. Romans 16, 19 says, And the God of peace will soon crush Satan. God will crush him underneath your feet. Amen? Okay, Satan is not a friend. He will give you things that you will enjoy for a short period. Amen? Do not be trapped. Letter E of tempted. He escapes the devil's schemes. He is wise not to fall into the trap of the devil. Amen? To not to, he, 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 he knows the devil uses, even in today, the, ve- the devil uses TikTok. The devil uses Facebook, Instagram, dating sites, pornographic sites. He is using that. Anyway, nobody's looking. Hmm. I always remember this. Even if no one looks, God sees you. What happens if you are enjoying with the pornographic uh, 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 video and then suddenly Jesus Christ comes? Pwede bang ganun yung laptop mo? Oh, hindi si Jesus. Mm-hmm. See? The devil's scheme, temporary pleasures of sin. Beware of that. I'd like to speak to the men here. The men, the fathers, the fathers of this nation. Fathers, I'd like to speak to you. You are in the crosshair of Satan. Satan is targeting you, Randy. Kanyan lalo na tayo mga guapo. target niya tayo. He's targeting us because if you fall, last of the eyes, last of the flesh, pride of life, your family will fall. Amen. And if your family falls, the next generation is destroyed. Be careful. Fathers, hide yourself deep in the heart of God. Protect your family. Amen. Protect your family. The best, the best uh, uh, reward that I have received in my life, as me and my wife, Mami Sheila, decided to walk with Jesus, are my children. Are my children. They are the beneficiary of God's blessing. Amen? At sunod pa yan, at to the next generation. And finally, letter D, this is good. Letter D, Jesus Christ denied the devil the pleasure to shame his father. The devil left him until an opportune time which never came. He failed. You know, every time that you fall into the trap of the enemy, you shame God. And that is the enemy's plan to shame God, ah, anak niyo ba? Remember Job? Naglalakad si, si Satan, pumunta kay GK God. Oh, kaya naman yan siya. The reason why Job is like that because you're taking care of him. Di ba? Sabi niya, sana sabi niya, oh, tanggalin mo nga lahat ng pamilya niya. Tanggalin mo yung pagkayamana. Take away your family, the fa- the, his, uh, his wealth, and even his health. Let's see. But Satan did not Satan failed. Amen? And he says, you know, are we to accept good only from God? Not evil? Not bad? Are we to accept only good, not bad from God? One of the children we have who have contracted uh, uh, COVID, they're a a Christian family. And uh, the child was prayerful. He knows God. And they all contracted uh, COVID-19. And then this child asked his mom, Mom, 
Can God not cure us? Why did He give us, give us COVID-19? You know, the answer is for, the, in the, uh, for, for, for this question is this. Can we accept only good things from God and not bad? Can we accept only good things from God and not bad? Jesus Christ denied Satan the pleasure of shaming his father. Amen. So every time you win against temptation, you are denying Satan. He denying Satan of his plan of shaming the Father. Amen. Then as Christians, we have to we have choices, right? When we were not born again, we do not have any choice but what the world dictates. But now we have the world, what the world dictates, and what the Word of God says. We have two choices. If you choose the wide road, meaning the word towards sin and damnation, the wide road towards answering the call of the world, Satan grabs you and he shames God the Father. But if you choose to choose the narrow road, wherein only Jesus Christ, you can only hold the whole dance of Jesus Christ, and then you shame Satan. Your choice in times of temptation, would you rather shame God or shame Satan? If you follow Satan, you shame God. But if you follow God, you shame Satan. It is your choice. Amen? When the temptation knocks at the door of your heart, remember this, my friends. Get hold of God's hands. If there's temptation coming, knocking at your door. You, you know, your, your ex is now calling you again. Your ex already have, uh, is now uh, inviting you to be his friend on FB. You know, when, 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 get hold, get, when, when temptation comes in and knocks at the door, get hold of God's hands. Obey that still small voice. And that is the voice of the Holy Spirit. Amen? Iko-confirm mo na, sabihin sa ng Holy Spirit, danger. Danger. Sasabihin naman ng kabila, tignan mo lang kung anong tsura niya ngayon. Di ba? Sabi naman ng isa, wag na. Wag na. So ngayon, anong pipiliin mo? 1 Corinthians chapter 13 says, No temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful. He will not let you to be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, He will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. God will provide, but it's up to us to take hold of that provision. Amen? Amen? Iko-confirm mo na lang. Bigla kang may tumawag sa'yo. Kukonfirm mo, tumatawag sa iyo life group leader mo. Tinatawagan ka ni Ana. Tinatawagan ka ni si Pastor Milen. Pastor Milen, ano na tayo? Uh, zoom na tayo, zoom na. So hindi mo na siya kinonfirm. Kukonfirm mo o zoom? Confirm, zoom. Confirm, sabi sa iyo ng Panginoon, anak, zoom ka na. Right? Number two, next is run away from temptation. Do not test nor even challenge it. Run away. Do not test the devil. Do not test temptation. You may, may, you may win some, but you will lose many. Wag mong patulan ang temptation. When I was, when I was um, still working, and we were uh, have we have this uh, uh, managers meeting in do sa may, may iloilo atay may mascara mascara ganyan and then to the whole conference my 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 friends my my colleagues my managers they always go they they go out and they they eat they they drink but i do not uh, i do not go with them sabi na si brother willy wag na yan kasi they know that I and uh, I'm not, I'm not, I was not yet a preacher or, or or a pastor, but I started a Bible study. But on the last day, the last day, one of my friends came to me and says, "Willie, brother Willie, Willie boy, Willie boy po pangalang ko ngayon. 
Papi na ngayon kasi hindi ako boy palagi. Willie boy, ang ganda ng mga nagsasayaw doon. Paborito mo, Willie boy. Sige na, kayo na lang. Kayo na lang. Willie boy, type na type mo talaga. Nakita namin kahapon. Sige, kayo na lang. E, pinapatawag ka ni sir eh. Ayan. Di sama si Willie boy. Willie boy, nakita ko, uy, may stage. May nagsasayaw. Ayoko magsayaw. May nagsasayaw. Nakatalikod ako dyan. Ha? Ha? Dyan ang stage. Binigyan ako ng beer. Ayoko. Kali Shandy. Hindi ko alam yung Kali Shandy may maliit na alcohol pa na yun. <laughs> Nung medyo tumama na. Beer na ang kasunod. One beer. Lord, isang beer lang, Lord. Isa lang. Para makapag-share ako sa kanila. <laughs> <laughs> para malaman nila na okay din akong makausap may beer Ay, mamaya may dalawa na mamaya tatlo na nag na naman ako Lord mas masarap to may isang sigarilyo pwede isa lang hanggang finally nawiwi na ako punta na akong CR dati nakatalikod ako pagbalik ko nakaharap na ako talo Talo. Do not test. Do not, wag mong patulan ng temptation. Run from it. Amen? Wag mong sabihin, yes, subukan ko, I will test my faith. <laughs> I will show you that I'm strong. No. You may win some, but definitely you will. Parang sugal yan. Di ba? Parang sugal yan. Hoy, mga anak, mga tatay, mga, sin- mga OFW, tantan nyo na yung online sabong ha. Hmm. Mananalo ka dyan, konti. Tapos mamaya-maya mo, wala. Nga, nga. Ang aabutin mo. Online sabong, in the name of Jesus, I come against you. You are destroying lives of families. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Always remember, oh, James 4, verse 7 to 8. Let me re- share this with you. Submit yourself then to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Come near to God and he will come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. And finally, always remember the pain caused by sin when you were once defeated by temptation. Always remember the pain caused by sin when you once defeated when you were once defeated by temptation. Masakit kaya. I always tell this. You know, God is not a policeman who will always tell you if you sin, ha, nakakaisa ka na. Oh, nakatatlo ka na. And then after that, I will cut all of your blessings. I will cut, I will not answer your, 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 your prayers. No, God is not like that. Every time we sin, every time we fall and stumble, He cries for us because He knows that we are hurting ourselves. And what He's looking for now is for all of us to stand up again. That's what He was waiting for. Amen. But if I were you, ayoko na matumba. Masakit kaya. Amen? Amen? Masakit. So remember, Hebrews 11.25, He chose to be mistreated along with the people of God rather than to enjoy the fleeting pleasures of sin. Rather than to enjoy the fleeting pleasures of sin. And finally, remember this, my friends. Deny the devil the, fle- the pleasure of shaming Jesus Christ. Can we all read this together? Rem- remember, my friends, Amen. Praise the Lord. Remain steadfast. Remain faithful. Deny the devil the pleasure of of shaming Jesus Christ. Be innocent of what is evil. The Apostle Paul said in Romans chapter 16 verse 19. He says, everyone has heard about your obedience. So I rejoice because of you. But I want you to be wise about what is good and innocent about what is evil. Amen. Praise God. Amen.
if you understood uh, understood God's message today, say Amen loud, aloud, Amen. Amen. And if you will obey God, fight temptation. Let's give the Lord a clap offering. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. But you see, you cannot fight this if God is not on your side. You cannot fight temptation because you are disciplined. Ah, come on. You cannot fight temptation without the Holy Spirit and a brand new spirit to be birthed in you. Sabi ko nga, born again is not born again is not a religion. It is not a denomination. It is not an idea. Being born again is where our dead spirit will be given life back again so that we may be connected with God who is spirit. And you can only do that if you receive Jesus Christ from your heart, not with lip service, mula sa puso, hindi sa nguso. And if you're here today and you want to say, can you, can you all close your eyes, please? Close your eyes. Close your eyes. And if you're here today and you want to say, Lord, I want to start a brand new day with you. Lord, I want to fight every temptation that will come my way. Help me. Would you just, just slip your hands and then put it, put it back? Just slip your hands up and then put it back. Yes. Thank you. God saw you. Pray this prayer with me right now. Let's renew our, um, renew our covenant with our living God. Say this prayer with me, especially those who are here with us watching. Please pray this prayer with me so that God will continue to uphold you, support you, and empower you in times of temptation. Father, thank you for your word today. Forgive us, Lord God, for there were times that I fall into temptation. I confess I have sinned against you. Forgive me, Father. And thank you, Jesus. Thank you for you have redeemed me from my sins. Thank you for saving me. Jesus, I believe that you are the Son of God. You came from heaven. Be with us. Walked with us. Felt what we felt. And you died for us. And on the third day, you rose again. Thank you, Jesus, for accepting that sacrifice to save us and to reconnect us with the Father. From this day forward, once again, from my heart, I declare with my lips, Jesus, you are my Lord. You are my Savior. Holy Spirit, take control over my life. Teach me. Rebuke me. Open my eyes so that I may walk like Jesus walked. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Let's once again remember what Jesus Christ has done for us in the cross of Calvary. Jesus Christ did not create this or did not start this program so that we may have something to do. It is a command of God. He said, do this as often as you can. This blood, let, let me pray now for the elements that you're holding right now. Father, bless Lord God, sanctify this bread representing your blood that was shed on the cross. And this, this cup, that, that the, uh, your, your body that was nailed on the cross. And this cup representing your blood that was shed on the cross. Thank you for the salvation of our sins. In Jesus' name. I'm forgiven Because you were forsaken I'm accepted You were condemned I'm alive and well Your spirit is within me Because you died and rose again
again. Amazing love, yes, Lord. Amazing love, how can it be that you, my King, would die for me? Amazing love, I know it's true, and it's my joy to honor you in all I do. I honor you. Let's declare you are my king. You are my king. Jesus, you are my King. Jesus, you are my King. Jesus, you are my King. Are my King. Amen. Everybody has touched your mind. Sino pang wala? Yes, please. Here. Randy, meron ka na? Kayo? Meron na? Please. Yes. Okay. Let's all do this together with thanksgiving in our hearts. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Jesus, in the night He was betrayed, He took bread. He gave thanks. He broke it, gave it to His disciples and said, Take this, all of you, eat it. This is my body, which shall be given up for you. Let's all partake of the bread. Amen. Right after supper, he took the cup again and gave thanks. Gave the cup to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, drink from it. This is the cup of my blood. The blood of the new and everlasting covenant. This will be shed for you and for all men, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this as often as you can to remember me by. Let's all partake of the cup. Amen. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, na-reset ka na naman. Na-reset ka na naman. Amen? Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's close in prayer. We thank you, Lord God, for your word today. It's a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. May God bless you. May God bless those who have received these words with thanksgiving in their hearts. And I pray, Father God, lift up your hands in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. May God's blessing be with you. May his favors follow you. May your light shine so that people in this dark world will take notice of you and give glory to God. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's, can you all pray this together? Father, thank you for your word today. We learned about temptation. From this day forward, I will only hear your voice. I will shame Satan. And I, fo- I will follow you. And I know that the God of peace will soon cross Satan. God will crush him underneath my feet.
Thank you for coming. Kayo po sa brother Leon, brother Emmy, sina Rachel, uh, and all of those who joined us. Maraming salamat. Happy birthday kay Mercy Francisco, 80 years old na po. Uh, praise the Lord. Amen. May God bless you. And um, we pray for those who are affected with COVID. Always remember this. Take advantage of this so that you will be more closer with God. More time to have a me time with God. Amen? Amen. And I'd like to... Uh, Brother Siju from Dubai. Uh, Dubai from India. Uh, uh, RBAP, welcome. Menchi Ramos of the Philippines. God bless you all. Always remember, we are always here. We are family. Sino pa? Ray. God bless you, Ray. Welcome to the family. Amen. Praise God. And also, tapos na anak, si Mercy Francisco. Yes, si Mercy. And also, I would like to greet my, no, greeters na ngayon. Shout out uh, to my sister, Ate Tess Flores at Kuya Rick. And my sister, si Nereng, and the family, you know. God bless you. God bless you. I love you, Te. I miss you. And also, my wife, si Mami Sila. Siyempre, di ba? And my daughter, Bea, and my son, Kuya Anjo. God bless you. I'll see you on Friday.